Welcome to HP Tuner Subaru Training Part 21. In this training tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at working with our virtual dyno software. This allows us to generate horsepower and torque graphs just as we would on a chassis dyno, but just using our log data from our VCM scanner that we're capturing under full throttle pools. We have a lot to cover. Let's jump in so we can check out working with our virtual dyno software. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at working with our virtual dyno software. It's going to allow us to generate horsepower and torque figures just as we would on a chassis dyno, but do it through log data that we're already capturing in our VCM scanner software. We're going to learn how to install the software, the virtual dyno software, onto our laptops in this tutorial, taking a look at how to use the software, just some ins and outs of the software, and then we're going to learn how to take our log data from VCM scanner, do a conversion, and then being able to open it up in virtual dyno and start to work with it. Pretty straightforward process, but let's go and take a look at this from start to finish. So let's go here and minimize. Let's go and minimize VCM editor. Let's minimize my VCM scanner. I'm gonna jump into my HPT Subaru course folder, double click here, and we're gonna move into our folder here called Virtual Dyno. This is going to be the setup file, the exe file, to be able to go in and actually install this onto your laptop. What I'd recommend to do here is take it out of this folder here. So I'm gonna go and just copy paste it onto my desktop, and then I'm gonna go and uncompress the folder here, and then we find we have our setup and application. We're gonna go in here into, in this case, our setup, and we're gonna double click this, and this is gonna allow the setup process to start. So we're gonna see this is a virtual dyno setup wizard. We're gonna run through this real quick, so we're just gonna say install it. Um, it's gonna go into the C drive program files, um, pneumonia productions, and virtual dyno, and we're gonna go here next, and click next again, and allow this to install itself process here is straightforward. Now it's finished, we can see the icon appears on my desktop. Let's click close here and let's click that folder. So now you'll have it onto your laptop. So in here, I'm gonna go into a virtual dyno and open this up here. And into virtual dyno, this is going to be something you can download off the internet, but I decided just to provide you with a direct um, exe file here so you don't have to go searching around for it. Now in here, we're gonna go up into, uh, let's go to file. We can go to load runs. In load runs, this allows us to load a .csv file. We'll find that the log files, when we're working with our VCM scanner, are going to be in a .hpl type of format, or HPTuner's log file. We can't work with those straight HPL log files. We actually have to work with them in a .csv format. We have a way we can do an export function from our VCM scanner to export the logged data that's in a .hpl and convert it into a .csv. So I just wanted to point that out. So the load run is gonna be where we actually load the actual uh, logged data from the run where we do a full throttle pull. We have our options down here. The options are gonna be allowing us to change things on our screen right here. So we can change line thickness or the RPM ticks, these little ticks down here at the bottom, where we're looking at the RPM plotting in our window. Uh, we can show our data points. We can go here, um, taking a look, we have metric, we can show in metric units, uh, smooth air fuel boost, this gives us an option. That's gonna be all of our plotting information here. And again, you can play around with this on your own. Um, so it's pretty straightforward software. There's really nothing complicated about it. Um, onto the dyno here, this is gonna be some interesting information that you might wanna consider how you're plotting this. We have our dyno correction factor. What this is going to do is allow the data that you're plotting in here into your virtual dyno to be scaled according to what kind of dyno you might be working with. So a Mustang dyno, we can see it's gonna have a lower type of reading. If we find here virtual dyno is going to have just a one-to-one -one reading and then dyno jet, which is pretty standard in terms of the power um, measurement across um, the industry would be uh, a little bit higher scaling here, so 1.09. The smoothing factor is something to consider. I usually leave my smoothing factor here on three or four. Um, looking here next, we see the power and torque that we plot here in the actual uh, horsepower torque plotting. Um, we could use different units here, horsepower, kilowatts. Um, we have some other options here, pound feet, newton meters. Um, so you'll have the ability to change it around based on what kind of units you're more familiar and comfortable with working with. In this case, I'll just leave it on horsepower and torque. Uh, in boost, if we're plotting here in boost, uh, we wanna go and plot in PSI. I'm just gonna leave it on that default. Columns and profiles, this allows you to go in here and uh, separate the way it's looking at the .csv. We don't need to do anything with this, so I'm just gonna go ahead and 
I'll leave that alone in the background. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.